colleagues. So um, next up, we have um, um, also a joint presentation by lecturers from the science faculty. And this is Marjorie Smith and Christina Kotze. And the, their title is Organized Module Design to Improve Student Interaction with Online Material. And they teach um, first year uh, human biology, uh, uh, body um, uh, module. Ladies and gentlemen, the topic of our presentation today is Organized Module Design to Improve Student Interaction with Online Study Material. Firstly, I would like to introduce the presenters. It is Mrs. Marjorie Smith. She is a practical coordinator in the Department of Medical Biosciences. And myself, Dr. Leta Kotze, is a module coordinator in the Department of Medical Biosciences. E-learning is now a well-established component and an important component in our students' learning process. And our learning management system, it comes up Almost what we believe a very important component of meaning making systems. As you can see in this image, it provides a platform, a stage to provide or communicate information and learning material. But how the learning material or information is displayed on Incomfa, we believe requires a coordinated approach. Such a coordinated approach should involve the organization of learning material. But it's also important which type of material is provided, as well as what the material entails. We also believe that it is important to organize material on ECOMBA in such a way that it stimulates interaction and engaging with the material. First year students, if you can't find something fast, you can easily get lost in the maze of information you need to comb through to get to what you want to know. And finding your learning material should not be adding to the stress. The course resources folder, if not managed well, can be confusing and disorganized when trying to locate specific files. We received very positive feedback from our students about the way our lessons pages are set up. Students say it is easy to access and navigate, highly effective and far more organized and helpful compared to course resources. This motivated us to really drive the use of lessons pages in our module. Here is a quick layout of our module design and how it is organized. To 1. Improve navigation within the LMS module and 2. Improve interaction with the learning material. We make use of the Lessons Pages E2, where we have created sub-pages mainly for the module organizer, a weekly schedule, and lecture practical and tutorial material. The lecture practical and tutorial pages all contain a standardized layout with learning outcomes, narrations, PDFs, and additional resources. Let's first start with the overview page of the module on Canva. So on our module page, this is indeed an overview that will tell the student what they can expect of this module, showing them in a figure which lecture themes they will be exploring in this module with a short description thereof below. Further on the overview page, you will note at the bottom that we are providing our students with an easy access to important information. We are providing hyperlinks that they can basically just click on to take them to important information such as the module organizer, announcements, lessons, or tests and quizzes. So which e-tools are we using to organize our modules in Canva site? There are several e-tools that we make use of, including announcements, gradebook, for example. However, for the focus of this presentation, we will be giving more detail on particularly the e-tools named Lessons. Under the Lessons tab, the students can find the module organizer. Now, this document used to be a PDF with many pages uploaded for students. However, needless to say, many of them never read it. and keep asking the question that's actually explained in the document. Therefore, 
We've decided to rather deconstruct the map module organizer into separate subpages for easy navigation to important information. Also under the lessons tab, students will reach the lessons pages. These pages are structured for easy access to lecture, practical and tutorial material. What you will also note here in the lessons highlighted block is that for lectures and practicals, students are also informed of which lectures and which practicals are taking place in which term. And then lastly, also highlighted here in red, is the teaching and learning schedule that the students have access to. And here, for each term, a timetable is provided showing students when lectures, practicals and tutorials will take place, as well as the lecture topics. But also, it shows students when specific assessments will be taking place. So let's look at our lecture outline. What you will note here is that our lectures are outlined per week and that the lectures will all be released at the start of each week as indicated by the release date. Furthermore, our lectures are numbered for easy navigation to specific lecture material. So once a student has clicked on a specific week, the lectures of that week are displayed as separate buttons. The titles of each lecture is also provided so that the student exactly know what the lecture is about. Furthermore, if the student now clicks on a desired lecture, the lecture content will be displayed. So for each lecture, the lecture content has been arranged as follows. The learning outcomes are provided. There's a pre-lecture quiz, the narrated lecture notes, as well as a printable PDF of the lecture notes. Also under the lecture content, for each lecture, students have access to additional study resources. In the case of this module, especially during the online learning period, students have access to an interactive online resource to study human anatomy and physiology. This resource allows the students to have interactive study by engaging with material, by completing, for example, activities, as well as watching videos. I will be talking a bit more about the layout of the practical and tutorial lessons pages. On the practicals lessons page, practicals are divided into weeks with their respective dates clearly indicated. Students can easily identify the topics of each practical for the week. Each practical subpage gets released at the start of the week together with the theoretical lecture notes. Practical tests are also indicated on this lessons page as an easy reminder when looking at the overall schedule. Practical content is organized the same as lecture pages with learning outcomes, PDF lecture notes, narrations and additional resources. A practical worksheet is included for students to complete with feedback and study tips provided from the practical coordinator. A checklist included at the end of the page guides students to what they should cover. Tutorials lessons page is also structured similarly with each tutorial subpage clearly numbered and the lectures covered for that part also indicated. Tutorials get released on a specific day and time. Tutorial lessons pages contain learning outcomes, a tutorial lesson plan, links to test and quizzes and assignments e-tools, as well as a feedback subpage. Tutorial submissions are done via the assignments and test quizzes e-tool. Assignments e-tool is used to submit, for example, extended type questions. Here it is possible that the student submit their answers through Turnitin to check for plagiarism. Test and quizzes e-tool is used for shorter type questions like MCQs, true or false, fill in the blank and matching. Lastly, let's summarize. The way that we've organized information and material on our Compass site aims firstly to improve navigation to the learning material and secondly to also improve interaction with the learning material. We aim to improve navigation to learning material by allowing students to find exactly what they are looking for. Also, our lectures, practicals and tutorials are clearly outlined, 
blind, numbered, and listed. So how do we improve interaction with the learning material? Our students can read PDF lecture notes. They can listen to narrations of lectures and tutorials. They can also visualize images provided, for example, in videos, narrations, as well as practical material. They can also participate in quizzes under the test quizzes section. And they also can participate by completing worksheets, for example, for practical material and assignments in the case of tutorials. Thank you for listening to our presentation. We hope that you got some insight on how we believe ECAMVA can be used in meaning-making systems to get the best out of our students.